What's going on guys? We are here again with another Dropless review. It's week 10. It is Supreme. And like I predicted last week, I'm just going to place that there. It's going to be North Face week next week. Let's see what happens. It's TNF week. I feel like I'm chosen. I'm covered in gold. Oh. Alright guys, our best friend from J Premium drops by J just blessed us with uh, this list and the price of all the items that are coming up this week. It's going to be actually a really good week. North Face is always a great thing to grab. Probably doesn't matter which one, but we're going to take a quick look at this list. It is extremely effing late here, but I'm going to make this video and I'm going to edit the damn thing. I'm going to be up until very, very early in the morning uh, just to get it out to you. Anyways, I'm on Supreme Community going from the bottom to the top because why would you stay if I started with the best, right? Uh, but I'm going to go through these kind of quick. There's some bricks in here that we can just kind of jump on by and not have to worry about. First off, Vertical Logo Beanie. Um, it kind of it has some vagtastic uh, effect to it there with the little line in the middle. We're going to pass on that one. Uh, the next one is the... Oh, man. Sometimes they make things... Uh, that you just don't understand. I'm not sure what the significance of all of them are. Some of them are real. 94 obviously is for the date of when they first opened. It's a thermal. for. Uh, it's basically a little bit more expensive than a premium tea. It's at $98. You can let that one uh, go to somebody else. The new era sequin beanie. When I saw the name, I was kind of interested. And then when I saw the product, I wasn't really interested anymore. So beanies are generally fine. This one is really ugly, and it just has a bunch of sequins on it, so I don't even know if that's worth trying for. But if you need something for the free shipping, maybe, uh, but I don't think so. Okay. Bro, I'm just not into these, these reversible caps. It's $48, um, and it's ugly as shit, and I bet it doesn't fit well. Some of y'all on the comments below are into this one. I I'm just not. Yeah, I mean, that looks like something Grandpa would wear after Grandpa couldn't see that well anymore. Um, that's just my opinion, of course. But it's a lot of people's opinions because it's downvoted. Now, the next one is this patchwork velour uh, long sleeve polo. Yeah, that's a pass. Let's let's just not even talk about that one. Now, here comes your pants, your pin-up chino pants. Those floral pants are going to go like hotcakes. If you want something for resale, buy those pants. Because those pants will resell. People want them. And they're nice, man. I kind of like them. I just... You know, I'm not, I, I don't think I can rock that. I don't think I can pull it off, but I like them. I, I get it. I understand. Spray sweat short. Uh, it's, oh, oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. They're $118, guys. Oh my god, I actually kind of wanted some of these. It doesn't matter, though. It does, it's clean. It, those are so clean, but it doesn't matter, because I'm, $118 is a, a thumbs down. Cut out short sleeve top. Um, I mean, it's it's a seventy eight dollar t shirt that you can even, you can't even really see. Shadow plaid fleece shirt. I mean, they're nice, but I I mean again, they're one hundred and thirty eight for a for flannel shirt. It's probably not the best choice. Hockey hooded sweatshirt. This is one fifty eight. I kind of like this one. I, I maybe am a, I'm the only one. I'm trying to tell you what color I think might be the best, and the longer I'm looking at them, the more I dislike the color choices that they used on these. I do like it. I think it's a cool, I think it's a cool piece, but uh, it's probably not a r big reseller, but still nice. The spray hooded sweatshirt to go along with your $118 pair of sweat shorts. They're 158 they have the shop logo, it's all tonal. I kind of dig these, honestly. I mean, I don't, I don't see these reselling. These look like regular ass sweatshirts, but I do like, I do like the the gray one here. I feel like when they do something a little more subtle, that there's more thought put into it than just throwing a big S on something. That being said, this is not a resell. It's a cool personal, so if you like it, buy it for yourself. Don't buy it thinking that you're going to resell it. Okay, so here's the first North Face item. It's the shoulder bag. The S logo shoulder bag. It comes in black, red, and green. I would actually pass on this one, and I know you guys are going to go, but it's North Face. I just don't see the appeal for this particular bag. It, it does seem to be a good, a decent size on body looking from at the picture from the website. There's better stuff to buy this week. 
than that bag. Yeah, the wool camp cap, that's... We're just going to jump over that. There's no reason to even talk about it. The S logo mittens. Last year they had some weird accessories like the balaclava and they had some gloves. I don't think they did a ton, but I think that they still made a little bit of profit. I think with stuff like this, if you go in store, if you're one of the lucky in-store people, pick up a pair of gloves and sell it when you walk right out the fucking door. Just insta-sell it. Just just look on StockX. If it's selling for better than what you're going to pay for it, go. But they're kind of high. They're $100. Being that I'm from California and live in LA, I'm probably the last person that should talk about mittens. Now here's the one that I'm, I'm kind of pissed off about because this was the thing I was hoping was going to be like 150 or or in that range, the uh, the Supreme North Face S Logo Dolomite Sleeping Bag. I'm really into the sleeping bag. I think it's really cool. It's totally a piece that somebody would just have on their floor or something. It's a big it's a big display piece. This is one of those items that could just the floor could fall out on it, and they're just nobody wants a fucking sleeping bag, you know. So like, I don't know. I I think it's a little more expensive than it's than I'm interested in buying it for, but. Um, it's totally a cool piece. Uh, speaking of a cool piece, this binoc this set of binoculars, now these things are going to be f ultra rare. I bet they're only going to be a handful of these, and they'll be really hard to get. They're extremely expensive anyways. The regular one, the regular binoculars without Supreme on them are extremely expensive, and these ones are going to be $898, so $900 for some binoculars. There is a absolutely no resale in these. Um, if you want this bino pair of binoculars, though, you will be the most hypiest of hype beast bird watchers out there in the park. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. So good on you if you get some of these. Damn, this, this week is hurting my feelings so far. Very much so. The cashmere beanie is going for $68. Oh my goodness. But daddy needs some cashmere. Jesus. H. Christos. What are you doing, Supreme? A $70 beanie? You know what's the saddest thing about that information is that I'm going to buy a $70 beanie if, if God will allow me to do it on Thursday. I don't- I, I would not even recommend going for black, white, or whatever that other purple color is. Just the two that have the multi-pattern on it. If, if you can't get those, then stay away from a $70 beanie. The Supreme North Face Himalaya Parka. Uh, they are in black, red, and green like everything else in the North Face collection. It is $698. The problem is the really expensive ones, there's not a lot of wiggle room. There's nowhere to go, really. I don't think this is the one to focus on, necessarily, but it's nice. Quite honestly, before I even, even get into it, right? So the parka is nice, right? But you can get any of the jackets uh, in black in a size that's not medium. Then you should be fine. Uh, if you're willing to spend six hundred and ninety-eight dollars, seven hundred dollars, whatever, if you're willing to spend like seven hundred dollars on this parka, I imagine you're gonna make at least a hundred dollars off of it, even if nothing good happens, right? It feels expensive to me. If you can get a black and XL or small, you're good. These are my babies right here, and I'm gonna try to get as many of them as I can, like always. The Supreme North Face S logo backpack. God, I love the bags. They are the most usable items on these lists. And, and it's like something that somebody would spend a fair amount of money on because you use it a lot and it's your it's everyday thing, right? I feel like this collection in general is just really lazy. I mean, they it just looks like they look, watched The Incredibles and decided to just do everything like Syndrome. I only wanted to help. And what did you say to me? I'm not a huge fan of these backpacks. That said, I'm still gonna buy as many of them as I can. Go black. The red has some contrast, so I don't mind I don't mind the red because it's not a just a completely red backpack. It has red parts to it, a lot of red parts, but red parts. Yeah, I think the black and the red are totally fine to go for. I think the black is your number one priority, then the red, then the green. Stay away from the green, it's stupid. Who wants a green bag? But my favorite thing about this bag is the price, 158 That is super nice. I like 158 I don't know how quick they'll flip, 
to be honest with you, but if you hold them till the season's over, if you can hold them till the season's over, you're going to make some decent profit on these. Um, there's always money in bags, and again, the safest bet is go black. I think the red looks nice, though. Second best item is the S Logo Mountain Jacket. This is definitely another one to go after. The uh, jackets will do fine. The black jacket is the best to go for. Extra large and small are the sizes to go for. I don't think you really want mediums. Again, these aren't my favorite North Face uh, items, but does I, I think there's still profit to be made with all of these. The number one item on Supreme Community, and I probably will agree with them, the number one item in my book as well, are these fleece jackets. Um, they always do really well. So, so I just jumped off real quick to look at some of the old stuff on StockX. I'm not gonna put it up here because I'm trying to edit this fast. But uh, my findings are that do not buy a fucking medium, okay? Do not buy a medium. Unless you plan to wear it, do not buy a medium. The larges, the smalls, the extra larges, those are all selling for decent, like at least 100 over. Black fleeces, go for the black fleece. They're growing on me. I don't really love them. I think it's kind of lazy. Um, I, I Obviously, S Logo Man, I mean, you see that right there. I am, I'm a fan. It's a big S Logo, and it just totally looks like, you know, and you know who wore it first, so... I don't want to steal that guy's look. That's the problem. Like, look at him. Look at him. He looks nice there. I'm going to set Swift Soul up with three carts just for the fleeces by themselves. Uh, then I'm probably going to do try to do some multi-carts with the backpack and the cashmere beanie. Um, but yeah, that's probably it. I'm not going to go super hardcore. I'm Again, I'm still stuck in Italy for God knows when. I'm supposed to have been home four days ago at this point. But uh, COVID... I don't have it, I just can't leave this area because of it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your cop list is going to be below. I want to know, I want to comment on it. I want you to tell me how dumb I am for everything I just said. Um, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I have to edit this thing now, so I definitely have other things better to do than sit here and just yap along. I'm going to go do my stuff, and now it's time for you to go do your stuff. I feel like I'm chosen, I'm covered in gold